All right, welcome back. Part two of my video today. What we have here is a hen. Um, Red Star is one of the names of this variety. She's a she's a sex link cross designed for production. Not too crazy about them. And then there's four compartments here, and this is a Rhode Island Red. This is one of my sweet girls, believe it or not. I don't know why they get the characteristic that they can be aggressive. These girls are really sweet. I mean, just watch. I'll just kind of put my hand here and start petting her, and, you know, she'll some most of the time see she's talking to me. Not a whole lot. Sometimes she does. <laughs> They just, whereas I get the Easter eggers that I have, and boy, they just carry up a storm, and it's like drama. It's like a soap opera. So, kind of like that right there. Let's look inside here so we can get a better idea of what I've done. Since they're in the, you know, slowly. Let me see, I scared her out. But I have this door here that the nesting boxes the birds have access to that I swing open essentially look, step back so you can see it I swing open that whole wall and open it up so I can get inside and as you can see square footage wise this is like a 4 by 8 area um, it's a little bit bigger than that. I purposely did that, and of course it screwed up my measurements, and I had to do a lot of cutting. And yeah, I don't, don't, uh, I don't advocate that. But anyway, um, it's worked for them so far this year. Um, my birds have done very well. As you can see, I've got a timer for a lamp that comes on. Oh, usually probably about. Six in the morning goes off a little bit after eight after the sun comes up um, And it comes on again at night for about mm, About an hour It's only 25 watts, so it isn't going to do a whole lot. I also have a Battery up there a little computer backup battery And what that does is that powers my automatic door So that door right there is automatic and it's connected to a light sensor and so that black is connects to a float charger that's always float charging that battery and so what it does is it has a sensor right here hold on just a second it's got a light sensor right here that detects the amount of light and what it and then as it as was it does that that the light is growing in the morning and once it reaches a certain level it'll send the signal via the wire into the computer and the computer will tell the door to open up and it does and then at nighttime when the light gets below a certain level it'll read that send it to the computer and then it'll close the door Fortunately, its close time is after the time the chickens are naturally programmed to go into the coop. So, it, for the I've only had to rescue two chickens since I put this in. Um, this is I'll, I'll put a link in the video. This is uh, what they call the pull it shut automatic door system, and I really like it. It has this method that you can use to um, control the door or you can also use the timed method which basically you program that one time and you never have to do it again um, you can continue to adjust it if you're in a northern latitude where you get big um, daylight swings yeah you'll have to adjust it frequently because sometimes birds will be out and the door will close. The one feature about this door that I really like is it has a one minute um, redemptive period. 
Where basically what that means is after the door closes initially at night, um, a minute later it will open back up for 10 seconds and that's to allow any chicken who wasn't paying attention and didn't get in um, to come to the door and it opens back up then they can hop in. Um, because I haven't actually seen them do that. I've rescued one that way myself. But uh, yeah, it, it's a really good system. I think for most people's budgets, it's a little bit spendy at around $200. But my testimony is it's very simple to install. Uh, it's very easy to use. The instructions are very good. And uh, their support is... Um, I've actually spoken to the manufacturers directly. So, just wanted to share that. Uh, give you guys an update of the chicken coop. If you, I don't know if you can see it. See the fishing line that's around here? That's to keep the hawks out. I'll post a link, a movie, a video that I did of that in another video to here so you can see it a little bit better. And in the meantime, thanks for watching. Have a great day.